Hello, I'm Dr. Gideon Micropenis, Professor of Sociology, Gender Nonsense, Race Baiting, Trans Waffle and Mindless Hysterical Screeching Workery here at Foxtick Metropolitan New University. I was deeply concerned to read in the newspapers this morning that this appalling government are considering amending equalities legislation to protect controversial speakers from no platforming, cancellation and censorship. Apparently, this is to promote a diversity of thought in academic institutions and arts venues, which is absolutely the very last thing we want. First, you let people express their views openly without fear of retribution. The next thing you know, we're living in Nazi Germany. To achieve true equality in society, it's vital that we aggressively exclude viewpoints that may cause offence. There can only be one truth, one set of values, and everything outside of that is just bigotry and should be treated as a criminal offence. What we want in academia and the arts is uniformity of opinion, a domineering culture of fear that stifles, marginalises and discourages dissenting views. For example, if a particular academic holds gender-critical opinions, if they publicly express doubts that it's possible for a person to change their gender, that academic should be immediately sacked from their position and rejected by all other academic institutions for indulging in what is quite clearly hate speech of the most despicable variety. Or if a comedian makes some jokes about some penalty missing football players taking a knee for Black Lives Matter, they should immediately have their entire tour cancelled despite the fact that many of the dates were sold out in advance. The 2010 Equalities Act did a wonderful job of righting non-existing wrongs based on disingenuous historical revisionism and enabled the creation of an all-pervasive culture of fear where it's become perfectly conventional to destroy people's lives for having any opinion that isn't quite woke enough. Words have consequences. Smear people in the newspapers, sack them from their jobs, hang them in the streets, whatever it takes to stop them telling uncomfortable truths that might cause hurty feelings. Onwards, comrades, towards a brighter future.